What's going on YouTube inside the truck? Thought I would go ahead and show y'all an inside view of it. So it's the exact same truck almost as the truck I had at night. Nothing, pretty much nothing has changed. Uh, these are the seats. Probably gonna get a seat cover. I'm not too sure just yet. Um, pretty much the dash is still the same. You got a couple of changes. I don't know exactly what this hook right here is for. And you got a new a new Bluetooth radio, so you don't got to do what I'm doing with the auxiliary cord. Um, I just didn't take the time to hook up my phone for uh, Bluetooth. It is an ungoverned truck, so I tested it out. It is indeed ungoverned, but uh, I don't know if they do this on trucks. I know they do it for cars, but I, I want to try to get the uh, try to get the gear ratio changed. But uh, like I said, I don't know if they do that for trucks or not, but I'm going to end up finding out. It is a 10 speed. They got a gear pattern right here. Um, was it easy for me to learn how to drive a 10 speed? Um, it only took me about maybe two minutes to learn how to uh, drive a 10 speed. It's actually only one extra gear from, uh, from a nine speed. Moving along. It is a 2016 Pro Star, by the way. Moving on to the back. Uh, I just got this brand new bedding put back here. Still got the plastic on it. Same thing as up here, plastic. All brand new. Um, when you come to the back, in the night truck, they had the uh, bunk heater. But what you got now is you got your APU unit. So pretty much what happens is, I believe it's already on right now. I just hit this uh, this button right here, this cool button. And pretty much, it works just as if, it works just like the truck is on. Um, it blows cold out, I got the temp control right here. So basically it just activates this whole panel so I can control the temperature. Um, of course the vent ain't right here no more. I, I haven't actually located the vent on this side of the truck just yet. I do have my plug, so uh, when I get ready to put my microwave right here, there's the plug for it, and I got an extra plug. It's all connected to the uh, APU unit, I believe, which is uh, definitely awesome. And I got straps too, so I can strap anything I want down. On this side, you also got the straps. I can put my PlayStation here, or my laptop, or my computer. What I'm gonna end up doing, I'm gonna put my laptop right here, but I'm gonna also put my desktop, I'm gonna put it right behind the seat. So I'm gonna have a desktop behind the seat, and uh, my laptop is wireless, so I can stick. I can I can usually stick my laptop in one of these drawers, and I can put my TV right here and have all that connected. That's what I plan on. That's what I plan on doing. And also, you got your uh, same plugs on both sides of the trunk, so that's how that works right there. Um, you still got your 12 volt power outlet. Uh, you got your antenna in case you want to hook up a uh, direct TV. I believe that's what that one is for. Still got your lights. I might change the colors. Not too sure yet. Uh, I do have permission to modify the truck in any way, any way I want to. Um, this is a rental truck. A rental truck. Most people call rentals lease purchase or lease or rent to own. I call them rental rental trucks because uh, to tell you the truth, I'm just renting the truck until I. Um, turn it back in um, it doesn't go on my credit it, it doesn't affect me in any way uh, as long as I make the payments every week I can continue to rent the truck and I, I'm just ready to turn it back in there is no purchasing uh, this truck whatsoever of course you know purchasing a 2016 truck this truck costs $150,000 so that's out of the question. This is, I'm just renting the truck. That's all it is, it's just rent. Still got your drawers looking the same on the inside over here. I don't really like this, uh, this drawer right here. I never figured out what I could put inside of it. I always felt it was useless. Yeah, I always felt it was useless, the inside of it. They can uh, find a way to do something better. On this side, Still got the same draw right there. And then what I like about it is, this truck is built for OTRs. You got your refrigerator. I got clean mines out from uh, whoever the last guy was. 
kind of got some oil and things on it. I'm not sure if that was from him or the mechanics, but uh, it definitely does get nice and cold in there. It is nice and cold. You got your freezer up top. At least I think that's what that's it, what that what that is. I see some ice and things up there. So uh, it's on right now. It runs 24/7. It's not part of the part of the um, of the uh, APU unit. So this does run 24/7. I'm gonna fill it up with food, and then of course I got my cooler for my night truck that I'm gonna put right here, so I can I'm gonna put I'm, I'm gonna sit it right here on the floor. So basically, I'm gonna be able to take on double the food and uh, double the drinks while I'm out on the road. Let me turn this off for a second. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be able to take on double the food, double the drinks. Um, I'm pr I'm probably gonna stay out the winter time, but I'm not too sure just yet. Uh, that is the plan to uh, stay out there long. That's that's just what I always do. It's a lot easier for me to do it. I don't have any any bills, nothing to worry about. Whenever I want to come home, I just pull up to the house, bag the truck in, and uh, yeah, that's all to it. Just bag the truck in this driveway. Now the only thing it didn't come with was uh, my little curtain that I had. And my night truck, I, I I don't know if night put that curtain in there for us or what, but I got to get a curtain because I'm not sure if people can see and see me at nighttime or not. You know, I'm not too sure. Uh, still got your cabinets, all uh, three spaces right here. Uh, everything is pretty much the same. Cabinets on both both sides. Now it's got plenty of space in the Pro Stars. Plenty of space. Um, I'm not sure if this lets up. I just let it. Looks like it does let up. Yeah, it does let up. Because I see the little the mechanism right here. I never tried to let it up in neither one of my trucks because I just had so much room. But it does indeed let up. I haven't tried to let it up, but judging off uh, the way it's built, it looks like you can let it up. Still got the small windows on both sides at the top. I don't really want to climb up there. Still got your curtains for privacy on both sides. Um, pop this open. I never did look in here. Uh, I guess this is some extra space right here. You got your um, cables for your um, CB radio, which uh, I am going to get a CB radio for this truck. Uh, I want to get a striker, but I don't want to wait and order it because I'm not going to be here. So I'm uh, probably just going to go to Love's and give me uh, whatever I can find best in there. Unless I find a CB shop over here in Tennessee. I'm not too sure. Um, now, this, this truck did come from quality, by the way. So this here is a quality truck. Like I said, most people call them uh, lease purchase or lease. I call it rent rental trucks because th this ain't no more than just renting a truck with weekly payments when you call it rent you understand that uh, you're gonna get a truck back um i just felt it was a lot easier for me to uh, rent a truck now what is, what is it like to rent a truck from quality um it's pretty easy uh, it costs you nothing unless you miss the payment then it'll cost you something but uh there's no down payment uh th th there's no you, did, you don't come out of your pocket whatsoever. Uh, you pretty much just sign the contract. It's a couple of pages. It tells you you can bring the truck back at any time. It's a walk away lease. Uh, just, just, you gotta bring it back to, the, to where you got it from now. Put it back on the lot. Now when you get to the lot, there's plenty of people turning in trucks. So uh, every single day, maybe not on the weekends, but uh, you won't be alone when you turn your truck in. I think it was, the, it was probably like two to 3,000 trucks out there on the lot, so. Uh, it seems like half of the trucking industry <laughs> has used a quality truck, so you won't be alone. The uh, only thing I wish I had was a, um, a, a window up here, but I don't. Other than that, you still got your curtains right here on the side. Anything else I wanted to show y'all. So, uh, now why did I go with the Pro Star? This is the truck I had at night. I know I can maneuver it. I know... Uh, I do my pre-trips on it. I know what to look for. Everything is the same underneath the hood. So, I mean, it's 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 really no no change from night. I mean, I've been driving a Pro Star for a year, 
uh, with no problems. Why not go with a newer Pro Star? Besides, this was the well, I don't know if this was the exact same Pro Star that Knight was gonna give me. They was gonna give me a brand new truck, but uh, I don't know if they was gonna give me a 2015 or a 2016. But I know it was coming with a refrigerator and the and the uh, power inverter. I don't know if it had APUs. Knight don't really do APUs. When you're on operator, you got to have the APU. It saves a lot on fuel. Knight don't understand that, but I'm just telling you that that's just how it is. Hmm. One of y'all left something in my truck. Just noticed that. Um, other than that, we're gonna go outside and take a look at the hood. Um, one second. Like I said, I can modify the truck in any way. Underneath, you know, everything still looks the same underneath. Still got the same lights. Only thing about the newer trucks, this particular truck, the uh, the muff the muffler is underneath the truck, so you don't have any pipes on the back. You can't hear your jack your jack brake whatsoever um, on the mountain, so it's, it's kind of hard to know if your jack brake is activated. That's the uh, problems I'm finding. I'm starting to sweat, but we're gonna step outside for a second. I don't know what this idiot right here is doing. He's been sitting there ever since I. Uh, been recording this video but um i don't think i missed anything i'm gonna step outside for a second take a look at the rest of the truck it does have a dpf on it def um the quality trucks they do come with the inspection report it'll tell you everything that was wrong with your truck it was a DOT. Uh, I find with almost every truck, if you pick a truck at quality and this is in your truck, it usually is uh, real accurate. Um, was this for my truck? No, these ain't for my truck. What I did was, the reason I got these in here is uh, because these are the trucks I was gonna get and I had grabbed them and set them in this particular truck. So I don't know which one is mine. They are for different trucks, but um, Okay, yeah, this is my my truck right here. So you see, it says um, the driver rear wheel seal was leaking on my truck. So they noted that it had to be fixed. And that was the only problem I had with uh, this truck. And also, uh, I had a, uh, I had a mirror broken on my hood that had to be replaced. So, I mean, quality is uh, real accurate when they come to their DOT inspections. Uh, whatever you miss, it will be on the paper because the mechanics won't miss it whatsoever in most cases. Um, holding up traffic now, I don't know what's wrong with them. But anyway, it's keeping it moving. There's my APU unit right here. Sits outside the truck, first time I've ever had one. I tried to get a truck some lotion, but uh, it's still kind of dirty. Not enough lotion to go around. I need some soap, but oh well. We're gonna look underneath the uh, look underneath the hood. This fool is still sitting here. Are you pulling the driveway? Anyways, move it along to the other side. It's an idiot born every day. But that's all right. Everything inside is pretty much um, the exact same as y'all can see. We got the uh, Cummins. Ah, yes, it's 15, same engine I had at night. Everything is in the exact same place. A lot of people thought I had the uh, Match Force. It's actually the same engine. Uh, it is under warranty. It's under factory warranty. I believe it's a four-year warranty. They cover everything, so y'all ain't got to worry about the transmission. I know a lot of people was worrying about my uh, night truck and the transmission in the truck, but uh, unfortunately, that truck, the last truck I had was uh, covered by the warranty also. All these trucks are covered by the warranty, so no need to worry. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up. 15-minute mark. And uh, I got to go handle this idiot out here in the park a lot, but uh, other than that, this is uh, the 2016 
Pro Star International. And uh, I'm going to start running next week after Memorial Weekend. I'll get back to y'all. Deuces.